winner side in the second seed slot. And now we're going to be getting on to Comet and Grumpy, who are competing for that top 16 winner side slot. And Grumpy here with a little bit of a rough roll, if I do say so. Oh, yeah. Self. Not only Yin is Comet, one of the favorites to win this tournament with, as the number one player here in Wisconsin, but Fox, widely considered one of Mega Man's worst matchups, right? This character just does so much overwhelming pressure, gets to move around the pellets and just outframe data Mega Man up close. Even though Mega Man's got those sword aerials, it just doesn't quite matter here in the matchup. And so far, Comet showing us exactly why. Yeah, but you know what? Grompy able to go ahead and get around, thankfully, from that ledge trap, but now getting caught up a little bit. Comet finds that back air, a very important kick to get this stage set up. And that Crash Bomber, right, so good at covering a lot of the drop down ledge guard scenarios, but Fox, not someone who looks for those, now getting the tech case, waiting out the air dodge as well. Comet was so smart, but looking for the grab at 140, but this is where an up smash is gonna kill. We see it just out of shield. Frame six there, so just coming out so fast that it's hard for Mega Man to have an option. And now the drag down to find the tech chase, but not able to capitalize and re acting to not Dude. jumping there to get out. Maybe jumping late so you don't die, but you just get wind box up high with that forward air. And because of the combination, just boy, that acceleration off the top was insane. That's the thing, Mega Man players, I don't know what it is. They are on the same stuff that Blockenheimer is with those calculations, but now Comet. Barely I, making it through there. I was gonna say, my friend, I know what it is. They're all in. They're all in a Discord together. And Peebnut, unironically, watches every single Mega Man VOD and regularly sends even just regional players advice with this character. He is everywhere. I love that. They all work together so well and push this character's metaphor. That commu character community, one of the strongest out there. And you see it with the amount of tech every Mega Man player kind of just pulls out of the hat, right? Yeah, it's just a bunch of homies trying to push Mega Man to the best and brightest. And now, waiting on ledge, just trying to make sure that he doesn't make an incorrect option, especially in the face of Fox. Still, that's going to cost you. And, I mean, my friend right now, out, he's looking like he might be book smart, not money smart, because, uh, as you mentioned, right, costing him the stock there. Comet now out able to cash in that check and keep it going with the Vortex, getting the reset of the down into the tech chase as well, but dropping it off the platform. That was about 80% otherwise, Ian, and would have been a dangerous situation. Even still, Grumpy's still not out of the blender just yet and working to just try and find a way back down, resetting to neutral finally. And now look at that. The reflect into the dash attack. Absolute amazing recognition of the scenario there. And Comet keeps pushing his own character to heights on unseen. He just missed Snare up smash. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before off just full hop, right? That's so core to Fox's game plan. The reflect down and then it kind of just ended right as the next one came yep. up. Just looking a little bit weird there from Mega Man. And, but it's not going to matter because Comet reacting, locking it down and locking up the game number one here. Look at him. So chill, too. He's not stressed. He's not worried. Yeah, takes a little sip of the water. He's feeling good right now. And can you blame him? I mean, look at this. Grumpy, so scared at the moment of getting off this ledge that ends up dropping the stock anyways. And that's sometimes what happens when you're face down with a player of Comet standards that he's just going to feel cool and rip you apart. He for waited for the stress. legend vuln to go away, right? But once you do, you've limited your options even further. And Comet just not picking anything. If you're waiting for him to pick something to get back safely, Comet is just going to wait for you to pick anything and then just react to that point, right? He is utilizing Fox's speed not to overwhelm you on the offset, but off of a punish game, right? Aggressive gameplay in Smash isn't just about holding forward. It, it's about picking your spots and exploding with a punish game. Comet is showing you just why Fox is one of the best characters of all of that with almost taking that first stock in a crazy fast fashion. This Crash Bomber is going to help him recover too. And look at that though. Gromp going to be dropping that stock and Comet feeling nice and clean now. Gromp unable to push these disadvantage or these advantage states to the level that you need to if you want to be competing against a Fox of Comet's level. Yeah, and that was a 30-second stock number one from Comet, right? <laughs> and now barely a minute, and he's almost 100% later. He tried to land there on the Spring Dog to bounce up, didn't find it, but still was able to find the perfect Firefox angle into that triple up air string, got the Drift Weed Dude. and punished the end lag there on that at Crash Bomber. Obviously incredibly safe on Shield, but if it doesn't hit it yet, I mean, that move is quite punishable indeed, and Comet showing you that again, by right? one interaction into a stock. He's only won neutral twice this game. Comet is playing clinical right now. Still, though, dropping the stock that 
that platform pressure from Gromp. Immaculate with the whirlwinds to find the kill. But now, you know what? Comet firing, firing right back with the two frame. And now, almost even getting the stock with the back air. Regrab going unpunished. And that down smash right, is something we've seen as a stable of Comet throughout this tournament. It's not something we see a lot of the other Fox players rely on. On, on looking for the roll in there, but just didn't get the read right. But hey, you're up this much percent. Why not take the gamble a couple times, doing it again? But now he's telegraphed it. Maybe he'll look for it a third time because he thinks Gromp will go for it on the mind games. But just having to find a way back down past these twisters first. Yeah, and gets on through, but the Leaf Blade coming in and doing some nice good damage here. And now Gromp just trying to find a way to lock down the stage control and give him the chance to set up some more of these pellets, some more of these projectiles, but it don't matter. That quick slash in the back, gonna secure another stock, and now bringing it to even lives here. Yeah, the, the, and even lives against Mega Man is so scary, right? Because all it takes is these back airs push you to lead one interaction, and just like that, you can be gone. But Comet has done such a good job always keeping his back towards the stage, never giving Grappy a single opportunity to find the edge guard situation into the early stock that Mega Man needs, and so he's stuck playing the Nat game, right? Ping, ping, ping for a little bit of damage, and so every hit that Comet is hit finding just does so much more than Grumpy is. Yeah, and that is going to mean that Comet is going to take that game number two, but I do like how Grom kind of adjusted how he was playing neutral by the end of that game, where all of a sudden, as you said, I'm going for the small ticks of damage just to slightly adjust my positioning and force a little bit more damage. And I like the use of Leaf Blade at the end there, right? One of the things that Grumpy's really been struggling to find is good get off tools. Leaf Blade is incredibly good at it. So too is a mix up of an up smash every once in a while. Something we haven't seen from him so far this set. It's either something Mega Man players love or hate though, so it's probably not something we'll see as a too much as a stylistic option. But that fast fall, once again, showing you why Fox is so good at this matchup, right? That pellet one, pellet two into a follow up just doesn't work on Fox because of how fast he gets back down. Yeah, and look at this, coming right down with those landing nares. That's why it's one of the scariest characters to even juggle because all of a sudden he's gonna come down, Uno reverse. My turn, and look at this, 98%. And Such a good lead. And Grumpy there did try to find that up smash, right, as a get-off me tool, but at zero because, again, how fast Fox falls, it just doesn't quite work yet. So now, trying to find the crash bomber, but the shield blocking it from connecting to that ledge was huge, allowed Comet to get the reset at pressure-free, and as a result, find that stock. Now, it's just up to Grumpy once again to make up a Huge lead here early on, less than a minute into the game once again. This is horrifying. You know what? Grumpy was starting to fire back, but Comet already acting like that last stock was nothing. And Grump trying to fire back with some of these down airs. An aggressive, aggressive edge guard that you mentioned earlier. And the Fox just sharking you with the up air, right? The age old classic trying to keep you on that platform, keep you from landing down on center stage, and now just trying to bait out the pressure. Er, Comet is finding an opportunity and locking it down, just not able to keep you in this vortex once again, but doing it at a slower pace than before, calling out these air dodges and really making Grumpy start to panic here. Yep, coming alive a little bit, but Comet. Still keeping him on his toes, and now Nair to get through not only the pellets, but get a little bit of damage. Jab, dishing it out, and now lapped in percent. This is not what you want to see if you are a Gromp fan, especially when that stock drop. Yeah, finding that, that back air there was absolutely huge, right? Picking up the high pressure so you don't even feel safe jumping or going high. The Dragon looking for the footstool, trying to find it like it's Smash 4 all over again. Comet not going to lock it down just yet, though. Oh after one of the flashiest kill attempts we've seen as a, from a Fox player in a hot, hot minute yet. Yeah. Comet, though, pushing the gas pedal now. That's the thing, he's been playing patient and finding the hits, but once he finds it, he turns it up to 90, still dropping the stock to the back throw, and now Gromp got a little bit of a shot. He's he's so confident right now, right? Comet here now gonna look for the tech chase once again, by right? dropping that for the jump reset to find the lead off the platform too, right? Like, he feels so confident he's got this game locked down. He's willing to try and hit something flashy, hit the tech chase to get the stock, but at the end of the day, you don't even need it because if they give you the Nair up smash, you take the Nair up smash. Yes, ma'am. Every day of the week, hit him with that bicycle kick. And look at that crowd in the background. Woo! Oh, woo! <laughs> they, they're having fun today, and their boy is looking clean going into winners of top 16. Yeah, my friend. 
and Comet really showing you why, right? He is one of the players to watch this event. And creative edge guards, creative extensions, and just really pushing in the routes you expect the Fox to look for, right? We don't see as many frame traps as we do with Light. I, I, we see, you know, we see the tech chases that Fox is known for, sure, but we see E Comet try to get in your head, rely on a lot more reads, and build up such fast leads off an explosive first stock that he just gets the room to kind of get in your head and go for whatever he wants. Oh yeah, an absolute respect from these two immaculate players. And I'm sure that's not going to be the last we see of Grompy, a great Mega Man representative. But for now, we're going to be 